In today's tutorial, we will look at some of the tools that can help you ace your coding interview while looking at a simple but a common interview question. And there will be a giveaway for some of these tools towards the end. So stick around to see how you can enter the competition. And with that said, let's go. The coding interview challenge that we have today is the very famous is palindrome question, where basically you have to return true if an input string is a palindrome. And it's always good to have questions with examples. And if they're not provided, please ask for them. One example is a madam, which is a palindrome because it reads the same forward as well as backward. Same with race car. However, demo is not a palindrome. Now, this isn't a particularly great example for a take home assignment, but if it is a take home assignment, one thing that you can do beyond just using Google is to enable GitHub Copilot. If you maintain a popular open source project, it's probably going to be free for you. Otherwise, you can just go with a 60 day trial. Once you have the Copilot extension installed with VS Code, you can enable it from the status bar and then it's pretty much going to write most of the coding interview questions for you. On each return keystroke, it's going to give you some suggestions and you can just accept them if you think that they are the correct solution. Now, it is very unlikely that you will be allowed to use this in a live coding scenario. So let's look at some tools that you actually can use while the interviewer is watching your work. One extension that you can do a lot with without paying a dime is Quokka.js. Once you have it installed from the VS Code extension marketplace and your code file open, you can select the command quokka.js start on current file. This will start live running your code, including TypeScript source code, so that you can make sure that your solution is on the right track. For example, with a few simple console.log statements, you can ensure the correctness of your implementation. Here you can see quokka.js running our application and you can see that the console log for madam and race car is true, whereas for demo, it is false. You can also see these results being calculated in the quokka.js output window. The green dots on the editor's sidebar is also showing you the lines of code that were actually executed. And once you are happy with the implementation, you can stop Quokka.js from the output panel. Now, if there is one thing that you can do to separate yourself from the majority of other candidates, that would be to write tests. Whenever you are given a project template or you are creating your own, make sure that you set up a test framework. Here we have just set up and I have an empty test file set up for my index.ts. Within this file, we will bring in our isPalindrome function, create a test for the happy case, as well as add an additional test for the unhappy or the falsy case. Now you can definitely run these tests from the command line, but one thing that will save you a bunch of time in a high pressure interview situation is to have the test execution integrated into your IDE. And a great tool for that is Volubee.js. Just like the other tools, you can install it from the VS Code extension marketplace, and once you have it installed and a test file open, you can execute the command volubee.js start. This will automatically pick up that we are using just within our test file and start executing it. Now you can use volubee.js for free if you have your project publicly published on GitHub. Otherwise, you can purchase a pro license or you can dismiss this message that pops up. I'm currently running the free version, but there will be a giveaway for the pro license towards the end. Now that we have Volubee.js running, it's doing a lot of things for us. It's running the tests for us. It's telling us how long they are going to take. It is also telling us the coverage of the different code paths so that you can ensure that you have everything tested. And of course, currently we have a correct implementation, but if I were to just break it for a second, you can see the test that is going to fail. And this can greatly speed up the time that you take to arrive at a correct solution. With the tools demo out of the way, let's jump into the giveaway. Thanks to your support on this channel, the Wallaby.js team was kind enough to give me two pro licenses of Quokka.js and two pro licenses of Wallaby.js to give away. To enter the competition, you must be publicly subscribed and leave a comment on this video. There are no conditions on the comment. It can be anything that you want as long as it isn't abusive. And I will reach out to four random lucky winners. And even if you don't win the competition, you can still use the free versions of Quokka and Wallaby.js because that's all that I actually demoed in this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.